Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Lifelong nurseryman George Hackney was awarded one of five licenses to grow marijuana on Monday. Our application was over nearly 200, 2,000 pages, over 1,900 pages, and it's tedious and things, but it's very rewarding to see all that come to fruition. Marijuana is a big risk for the family-run nursery. We're concerned about uh, our banking and, and, and how, we, how we handle that. We're concerned about our other assets and how we keep assets from possibly being seized if, if it was ever, you know, on the federal level raided. The nursery must post a $5 million bond by the middle of next week. It plans two retail outlets for now. Do you even know what you'll sell it for yet? Absolutely not. The low THC legislation probably would have never passed if it were not for a Gulf Breeze mother and her epileptic child. Holly Mosley and daughter Rayanne led the effort to make low THC oil available. We've got to see firsthand the success that that plan is having for these children. In the process, they attracted support from hundreds of parents, like Teresa Miriam, who says it's taken too long to get her daughter help. This is what we've been fighting for for over two years, and this is what we will continue to fight for until it's in our hands. Our plants, like I like to say, beautify the world. They, they help the environment. I feel here now we're helping people. The first low THC medicine should be available for patients around June 1st. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.